Hello guys, so I just finished up the prototype. I might just stick with this design, but this is the prototype. Design concept. So the motor sharing concept that I uploaded on my channel, um, I think like two hours or three hours ago. So this is the update to that. I'll leave the video linked in the description in case you want to check it out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, but I had a concept and I had this prototype of motor sharing. So we begin with this motor, the green motor, regular motor. And then this motor is just regular, just the everything here. The let's call this the intake. The intake here. The intake is just a regular one to one gear ratio. And then right here you see the little gear. So this little gear it doesn't affect anything because it only affects output, input and output. So this little gear is just a little like filler space. And so we can come into this big red gear right here. So um I think there's a 36 to 84. 5 to 1 or 7 to 1. I'm not sure. But one of those gear ratios. That's what it is. And that's and then after that, I got the 5 to 1 gear ratio, I think. Connected to this chain right here. Um, just chain. It's just regular chain. Because I was going to do a little mesh of gears right here, but it was going to be all messy and then it would just be like very bad. So. This thing is special because it allows for motor sharing and it's not the same output. This output for the green gear going to the intake is a one to one and the output going for the for the rollers right here for the rollers here is like five to one. So that's very hard to work. And it's like a little bit scuffed. Like you can tell it's kind of not good at all kind of crooked and stuff but I just did that as a uh, prototype kind of gets stuck a little bit here the flaps and stuff but it runs very smoothly but like if I was gonna do it like this it would be like kind of you know all weird and meshed but it runs very smoothly surprisingly because now I got here the gears these gears work perfectly in their, and they're perfectly intertwined with each other and then the conveyor belt I mean I mean not the conveyor belt well the chains are more or less, they're kind of janky, I guess. And the chains power this here. So, this is still the same gear ratio, right here, and in the chains it's a one to one. I could have even made it even more powerful if I would just put that, but it goes very slow. So, instead of just talking, I'm gonna show you guys what it can do. So, since I used up all the eight motors, four for the drive, one for this conveyor belt over here and then for the intake one and then the flywheel has two motors because yeah just it just needs extra power i guess okay because i'm using all green motors i don't have any blue motors blue cart cartridge motors so as you can see here it is mock-up design so as you can see It all works. It works like a clock. It's so weird how it works because, like in one one instance, it's just right here. It just powered right here, and then it's somehow making movement over here. Different components and different pieces of the robot are moving at once, and this motor sharing technique does not affect the intake at all. It is still an effective intake as it was before. Before I, I rendered everything and stuff, you know. So here it is. Crappy little disc. It's so hard to suck up sometimes because of duct tape. So I got a pre 3D printed disc and I was shooting it around a lot. I was playing with the robot a lot. And then afterwards, you know, it just, it just started to break off. Like a little segment. You can probably hear just like this, the dustiness. But yeah, I can see like it's broken. I've hit the wall with this so many times and like I hit it so hard it shoots it out so fast it just it just breaks pieces off the 3d printed disc but I think this is an exact replica a replica so like if it was perfect it would like intake much more smoothly and these are these little flaps right here these little crappy intakes 
are a little elevated because on the foam, it can scrape against the surface, so I have to like this. But there you go. So this is the roller thingy, and I tried it like on toilet paper and it works. It goes super slowly, super slowly, because you need to, you know, obviously, powering this high torque equals less speed, but more strength. And a lot of people were like, um, off their observations already that it's gonna be very difficult for them to spin the little rollers because there's like little screws preventing them from like being spun easy, easily and stuff. So I decided to go with a higher torque mechanism in order to just like be able to do that. I had no roller, so like I, we needed the rollers very badly because if we didn't have the roller mechanism, then we would lose our like on so many points. How much points is it? 40 points, you know, like potentially 40 points. Or 40, is it 40? I guess, I guess, I don't know. But the rollers are very important since it's 10 points for each roller owned. And this is a very great addition to the robot. It's like, it's like, it's not, it's a, it's a pre, pre-season robot because I haven't even tested like on the field or anything because I'm in my house and we're barely on summer break. Summer break barely even started, but this is a good, I would say it's a good robot for like just beginning. Obviously we're going to get new parts and then I'm going to make, I'm going to take all the concepts from this and probably add it to there, but make it better. Like the intake is very lackluster and I like the loading and stuff. It's like not good at all. I, I, it could be better of course. But yeah, they, 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 they go at different speeds. This one goes normally and then this one over here does its own thing, you know, and it all works in one fluid motion. One motor powers different systems of the robot. And that's what I like about it. And to show you guys around the robot, this gear drive. I was gonna go with the Nami drive, but it just took up too much space. Like the wheels, like so huge. And I was like, bro. So I did not do that. And two motors over here. I think you guys know. But yeah, this is the addition. And it makes the robot look like even more janky. I like, like the view right here is very good. It looks like a good robot, but then you like take a closer look and it's kind of crappy from like over here. But yeah, that's how it works. And before the video ends, I'm gonna show you guys a shooting demonstration. It is on the table, so it's gonna go like very far, so. Oh, the duct tape thing. Yeah, in my blind.